Hey everyone, Backyard Farmer Pat here. Today we are in my friend Tony's backyard. And you guys remember like a few months ago we did the tour of Tony's backyard. Where we're back here today. And her garden is just absolutely exploding. I'm looking at her lemongrass and she has she has turmeric growing. See some pineapples over here. But the star of the day and what we're here to talk about is her papayas. So you guys know my beloved papaya that they used to always talk about. I showed you how to grow your papayas. If you missed those videos, go back and watch them. But today, I wanna to talk about the difference between a male and a female papaya tree. But Tony has an extremely unusual papaya tree. She has a male papaya tree that has uh, that is actually bearing fruit. So first, let's look at her female papaya tree. And these are two papaya trees. These were actually planted from seeds from my papaya. And in just a year, you can see she has two big papaya trees that are actually bearing fruit. So first, let's look at the female papaya tree. So you know when a, a papaya tree is a female, because the flowers um, start from the very joint. The flowers are close to the joint, close to the, to the trunk, and they usually bear single flowers, right? So you see these are female flowers, and here are the fruit from the female flower. Male papaya trees normally do not bear fruit. Like 99% of the times they do not bear fruit, but Tony has a very unusual tree. And I'm trying to figure out if it's a male or hermaphrodite. They actually do have hermaphrodite papaya trees that have both the male flower and the female flower. So let's look at what the male flower looks like. So you've seen the female flower. They're very close to the, to the trunk. You see all this, these female tr flowers, they're coming, they usually come from, I call it the armpit of the tree. And then you see the flower coming, coming out. Often maybe one flower, maybe two flowers, but right there in the pit of the tree. The difference with the male tree flowers is that they are a long stem, also coming from the pit, but it's a long stem with multiple flowers. So the female, this is actually the male. You see the difference, the male has one long stem with multiple flowers, the female normally has a single stem. But this is an extremely unusual papaya tree. Normally when you have a male, male papaya tree, it's nice to leave them there, the flowers are pretty, plus it helps to pollinate, it attracts pollinators and helps them to, you know, pollinate the female tree, even though it's not really necessary. But look at here, look at this. Tony actually has a, a male tree that actually is bearing a fruit. So you see that long stem, that's where the flower, the flowers were, and there's actually a papaya. It looks like it's almost ready. I actually read upon this because I've never ever seen one in real life. Um, they said that these are normally not as sweet as a female fruit, but Tony will let us know how that is. You'll notice that this has multiple trunks, and the reason is Tony was trying to keep it short, so she chopped it, and when she chopped the tree, it started um, giving her multiple shoots. So I'm not sure if that, that could have been what um, stimulated the, the fruit. I've heard in the past, if you chop the tree off, it will become a, a, a female. But in this case, it remained a male. It has male flowers all over, but it has uh, fruit. Also, if you look at the top, there are multiple papayas growing from the top. And these are growing closer to the trunk, which are similar to how females grow. But usually on, on a papaya tree, you wouldn't see that many coming from the same armpit. So I'm not quite sure if this is a hermaphrodite or if it's a male, if it's a fruit bear male tree. It kind of looks like a fruit bear male tree to me. Um, in a hermaphrodite um, papaya tree, you see both the long stem um, flowers that are male and you also see the single flowers that are against the trunk. I don't see any single flowers, so I want to say this is a highly unusual male papaya tree. And normally, if I have a lot of male papaya trees in my garden, I pull them out. I'll leave a couple on there because they are pretty. The leaves are usable. The leaves are very medicinal. They have a ton of properties. Uh, I put a link to the video that talks about the, the properties of the papain, papain which is in, in both the papaya and in the leaves. Um, everything on the papaya is, is edible. The, the seeds are like medicinal, the leaves are medicinal, the papaya itself is packed in nutrients. It's, it's an incredible fruit. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I, I just was absolutely blown away when I saw this. 
she has so many more fruit coming out I'm just dying to hear how the fruit is um, if let me see feel it hmm if you want to cut it but you know if not cut it when you cut it let us know take a picture and I'll add a picture to the end of the video all right till next time guys let's plant grow and eat together don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video video with others also follow me on Instagram where I post a whole lot more videos and updates till next time bye bye now